to my beautiful family. You guys are great. You guys get me going in the morning and I do appreciate you so much. Right now I'm on my way to the gym. For 109 straight days I woke up with a spark. Yesterday was a little bit different, but today I'm feeling even better than I have. So we're gonna hit an upper body workout. Let's get it. Before we get into this workout, I do wanna say one thing. Go to the comment box. Look at all of the comments that are under this video and previous videos. Look at how many positive people there are. Look at this family. Our family is so strong and I have not seen another YouTube channel with so many positive comments, supporting comments. There's people that are depressed. There's people that are looking for results and everyone within this family is helping them. And it's crazy. It's mind blowing to me because I think of YouTube, I think of so many negative comments and haters and people just looking for fame. But our family is different. We love each other. And you look at the likes and you look at the comments. You guys are great. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's get into this workout. Today, I wanted to make sure that my shoulder was completely fine. So I was taking 225 pounds and I was doing four sets of 10. This is the second set here I just finished off. Third set and fourth set, you'll see I'm a little fatigued. But 225 pounds isn't too heavy for me. I can rep it out. I would say about 18 times if I was completely fresh, but I am doing four sets of 10, which means I'm increasing volume. And that's a big step for me because my shoulder has been hurting for a very long time. As I have been going to Jeff from Pro Massage, getting that shoulder right and doing my own rehab exercises every single day, it's been getting better and better. And today for the first time, my bench is pain free. Now look at this bar path. You see it's diagonal, right? I was having a problem benching today where for some reason on the left hand side I was overcompensating which of course makes sense because my right shoulder is just rehabbing and getting better so I I'd completely understood that. Now I was going into my supersets and I was increasing variation because finally my shoulder wasn't hurting as much so I could do these type of things. Took a 45 pound plate and I was hitting eight repetitions pronated grip so you have a supinated which is a chin up pronated is a pull up with 45 pounds eight repetitions. I did three sets of this full superset and you'll see what I'm going into right now. I'm going into anterior front raises. So this is the front side of my delt. I want to strengthen the front side of my body and my posterior chain, of course, but these anterior delts are kind of weak recently because of that shoulder. So I took a moderate amount of weight, I believe those are 25 pounds, and I was hitting anywhere from eight to 12 repetitions. And then I went straight into a handstand, and of course, I fail, everyone fails. But I went back up there, and that's what's important. I went back there, and I did not fail again. I kept on working until I held a handstand for about five to 10 seconds. And again, I did this set two, three sets completely, and that's what you guys should be doing as well. Now I went straight into, after that superset, pronated headbangers, focusing on those rhomboids, those traps, and those lats, and all of that posterior side of my rotator cuff muscles. And I went, again, eight, to 15 reps. So depending on how, how I felt, how much energy I had, I did that. And then I went straight into lateral raises and I took a moderate amount of weight. Again, I'm not going heavy at all, but I am increasing variation, which is very important for me, especially for my shoulder. I haven't been through these specific patterns in a very long time. So here, again, I went eight, to 12 reps. So I'm creating a range of repetitions for myself where I feel comfortable and I know, okay, I don't have to hit 12 if I'm feeling a little pain, I can hit eight or 10. Then I went straight into roll unders. This is a great exercise for your triceps. Uh, triceps, this really isolates your triceps and it's a great, great exercise because you're placing your body and you're actually using your core as well to make sure you don't fall flat on your face. <laughs> That's what I was worried about first, but I did 12 repetitions here and after I felt booming, it was crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that workout and here I have to say something to you guys. Remember, if you want any type of program like this, a beast mode program, incorporates body weight training, weight training, it's right here, click on it. It's your program to start today. I'm currently at a coffee shop. This baby's charging. Very, very tired day for the boost board. I want you guys to give me your honest opinion. How does that compare to Equinox's acai bowl? A lot smaller, we'll taste it though. It's very good. I think Equinox wins because of the quantity. I always tell everyone, 
if you're gonna, like, you can always go back to where you, you're, you come from. Go experience something, like, go live somewhere else. It just, it just adds on to your life. It really does. It like changes the whole perspective. All right, guys. See ya. Have a good trip. If there's one thing I love to do, it's to meet new people, pick their brains, learn about their experiences, take their knowledge and use it in my life. It's just great. You got to appreciate it. Listen guys, if you don't every single day give yourself some type of time, whether it is reading a book, doing something that you love, doing something you enjoy, then eventually it's all gonna add up like it did yesterday for me and kind of explode in your face and you're not gonna know what to do. So every day I need you guys to take 10, 15, 30 minutes out of your day and do something you love and you enjoy and make it all of you time and that's it. Whenever I come down here at the pier in Santa Monica, I get a bunch of comments saying, GTA, GTA, Grand Theft Auto. Well, check this out. I'm a big million shot. I stole six cars today, stole the jet, drove the first helicopter, but I don't play Grand Theft Auto. So yes, that's me here. And it just so happens Snapchat put a filter on there that I can use for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> So before we do some meal time, post-workout style, um, I would like to talk to you guys about something. As you guys know, I take my exercise physiology degree and the knowledge I have gained over the many years of training very, very seriously. And as I consistently do this, I also want to steer you guys in the right direction. For about two and a half years now, I've been getting comments every single day asking where do I go to become a personal trainer? Where do I start? How do I start? The first step in this journey is always going to be knowledge. Knowledge of the human body, understanding it from head to toe, inside and out. And how do you do that? You need a certification. Now, I'm not talking about just random certifications and, oh, hey, I'm going to go get this certification because it's cheap, it's quick, and it's going to be easy for me to learn. I'm talking about a certification that, one, you'll gain a lot of knowledge from, two, have fun learning at the same time, and three, earn a lot of credibility for having it. That being said, I have a great opportunity to give you guys from NASM, NASM, that's National Academy of Sports Medicine, a great, credible source to get your certification. They're actually doing something really really cool right now for 14 days there's a free trial I'm gonna put it in the description there's just a link just click on it and what they're gonna do is you're gonna go through the Academy and go through the classes and everything that's involved within the certification so you can start learning and see if personal training is for you I really suggest I highly suggest if you're somebody that is trying to do something within the fitness industry get a certification first this is a great way because you don't have to put any money down and you can start learning and see if it's for you. So, link in the description. Go check it out. NASM, National Academy Sports Medicine. Does anybody know what time it is? Oh yeah, you guessed right. It's meal time. It's meal time. It's meal time. It's meal time. All right, we gotta eat. We gotta eat, I'm hungry. We need a pen and we need water. to think about it but I just can't live without it. everything that makes you you don't need to compromise we both have the same desires so where you go from I'll never have to change except I'm a little strange yeah that is magic I'll call find a how to keep my cool cause we're completely drunk in true love if you guys didn't know the chicken is done. And 
and voila, we have a chicken pesto pasta salad. Okay, maybe it's not a salad. I like to say the word salad because it just sounds so healthy. Yeah, this is definitely not a salad. I'm headed to the post office. I have to return those shoes. Remember those shoes, those powerlifting shoes I was trying to get at that store? I have to return them. Kind of sucks because I really like them. They're, they're beautiful. I love them. Look how nice these are though. That line, that line was longer than a Chipotle line. I am not staying there. What are you doing in a random alleyway? I was just snapping about you. You're literally in an alleyway, just hanging out. Yeah, because I was waiting for you, you said to wait. You're gonna get, you know what they say about alleyways. Nothing in Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> you were just doing like push-ups, I think, push -ups? Ab, ab workout yeah. maybe? Yeah, yeah. That's called the Topanga Lookout. They look so beautiful. Cool. They look great, like in great spot to do that. The struggle is real when Shao Kao starts using Chipotle's now. <laughs> She's checking to see if any women are texting me. <laughs> no, no. I knew that's what you'd be doing. Fitness life always. Guys, go follow her right now. Her YouTube's up, her new video is released on Saturday, right? Okay. We're figuring it out, but go subscribe to her. Lexi for enough, I'm gonna put it right here. Finally, to the end of today's episode, and is a special edition of Talk Time. And if you guys don't know what this is, at the end of every Ignite episode, I take one topic from the comment box and I talk about it for a few minutes and then we go on to the next day. So today's topic is from a young man by the name of Oscar. I think he's a young man, but he said in the comment box, and I will not say his last name because I'm really bad and I butcher everyone's names. He said, reality versus dreams. And what I think he's talking about is what is possible and what truly is not possible. Now, if I take that into consideration, can I walk to the moon? Absolutely not. That's not even a reality. Is it a dream of mine? Yeah, that'd be freaking cool. Can I run up one million stairs nonstop and without even breathing hard? No, that's not realistic. There's no million stairs that I could even climb to get that high. So if you take those into consideration, you say, okay, well, what is actually realistic? What is a, just a dream or something I would be, when I'm sleeping, I, I would be thinking of that I would be doing. Then you have to take what's around you and put it into light within your own situations. And what I mean by that is if you are trying to get to the NFL, right? And you have just a glimpse of talent. You can get to the NFL. You know, it's like if someone tells me, oh, you could never make it to the NBA, the National Basketball Association. Well, I would tell myself, I can do that. I think it's realistic. Even though I'm not a huge basketball player, I believe if I put the time and effort in, and if I believe no matter what that I can get there, I will get there. Could you become president one day? I believe it's possible. You have to remember, all of these people in this world, there's so many people. There's 7.7 .7 billion people plus. Out of all of these individuals, there have been many that have broken barriers that no one could ever imagine were possible. A man got to the moon. A man got to the deepest part of the ocean. Gandhi changed the lives of so many people around the world. Muhammad Ali did the impossible. So that being said, everything is possible. I lived by a quote since day one, and that is, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? And it's so true. What would you attempt to do if you knew you would never lose or fail and you would accomplish it? Well, I, I would do everything in my life that I wanted to. So creating a YouTube channel, something I've always wanted to do. Being one of the most known people in this world for helping people, that's what I've wanted to do. And that's what I am going to do. And that's what I am going to accomplish. I want to reach and touch the lives of one billion people. That sounds unrealistic, that sounds like a dream. But no, it's realistic to me because I believe anything that is even in possible reach, anything that is realistic, you can get there. If you tell yourself you could do a double backflip one day in your life, if that's your goal, you will get there. You just have to work for it. If you are in a wheelchair and you are paralyzed and you tell yourself you are going to walk again, that's realistic. I believe you can with the right mentality. Eventually, I believe you can. 
And I know what you're what you're probably saying or thinking right now to yourself is in a wheelchair and you can't walk. Like, no, Brennan, that's just a dream. That's not realistic. I think it's realistic. I honestly do because I have ingrained everything into my head saying, what would you attempt to do if you knew you could not fail? I'm telling you, everything is possible. And if you think that, then you will become the impossible. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the end of this vlog. I enjoyed today. Today was great. I got so much energy going to sleep. Actually, I don't even know how I'm going to go to sleep. It's like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I have editing to do. I'm just so hyped. My shoulder's feeling better. You guys are supporting me so much more. Whew. Just got to take a deep breath <laughs> and see you guys tomorrow.